something to do with the fact that, yeah, we're living in quite a multicultural society at the moment. We're driving German cars, we go home and eat a curry. Does that... I was trying, on, on, on a, uh, yeah, taking it more seriously, I was trying to think what um, is peculiar to the English, and I couldn't. I mean, all the outside sort of stereotypes, and it's difficult to point the finger at yourself. Um, and it's, there's things like, you know, fair play, and, and that sort of works. I think there's a sort of sense of um, fair play. We, we were discussing on the audio book that um, uh, when the crossbow was brought in, it was considered unchristian. English soldiers wouldn't use it because it was cheating, it was too easy. And I like that. And when Wimbledon first started, it was considered ungentlemanly to practice. And then sort of foreign players came over and went, well, no, we'll just practice and win. Um, but I don't even know if that's true. I, I, I can't think what, what is peculiar. Th moaning, whinging, whinging about everything, whinging about England. But the nice thing about England is, you know, it is, it is a country where you can celebrate the fact that you can whinge. And um, you know, and talking of whinging, this guy's an absolute king. Absolutely, never mind king of podcast, king of the moaners. He whinges about. I don't think he's happy unless he's whinging about something. I, I call him up every day and say, Carl, he's moaning about something. What what happened today? These well, were late. These were late. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, uh, yeah. Why were you late? Rubbish excuse. Just yeah, caught the train. There's there's always traffic. There's always get set out earlier. We blame were... blaming is another English thing. Yeah, blame, yeah. Blame blaming the transport then. Yeah, always exactly. Always passing the book. Always. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And they, they never just say it's my fault. I had to lie in. I mean, they had yesterday off. It was a bank holiday. <laughs> you should have been up earlier today, if anything. You should have been full of energy. You what are you going to be like tomorrow? So, and this is the problem with the country. You never do anything Friday with these. Forget unbelievable. It. Forget it. Yeah. But uh, but aside from that, what's annoyed you today? Uh. Itchy eye. Nothing's been sort of an annoying me today, really. It's been You're right. in a good mood, are you? Well, for, yeah, for me, yeah. This is this is all right. Yeah. Um, this is this, this look look. Show, excited. That's show excited. the the happy face. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'm happy now. This is, but that's fine, isn't it? I think if people are always really happy, they're going to get de more depressed than me at some point. I think I'm easily pleased, which is a better thing to be, isn't it? Well, okay. What offered you? What gave you pleasure? See, that's a new thing, isn't it? Now it's like pe people are whinging. People are going, "Oh, I'm fed up. Oh, I'm alienated. I'm addicted. I'm depressed." Olden days, people would lose a leg and go, "Here, go back." They just got on with it. Do you know what I mean? In the olden days, they oh. dragged themselves to the coal mine. My dad used to get up at five thirty every day without fail all his life to work on a building site. Yeah. He wasn't going, "Oh, I'm slightly depressed. Move the bricks." All right, it was all yeah. over. That's the problem, isn't it? We don't have enough bad news now. So it's that moan gene that I've told you about. <laughs> the moan gene! It needs, it needs to be filled up with something. And years ago, they had something proper to moan about. Whereas today, they don't. Yeah, when you're being bombed or something, yeah, yeah you can moan. But That's they it. didn't. They went, it's all right. Let's hang out the washing. Give me that Siegfried line. Let's hang out some washing. But the news is full of bad news. What are you talking about? You don't watch the news, you said. It's not, well, I do, yeah, I do, I'd see bits of it. What's happened in the world? What's happened in the world this week? Apart from the, the Ricky Gervais Guide to the English, available now from What's iTunes. That? Number one selling audiobook in the world, ever. Um, now, that's what I call rubbish. It is all a bit, a bit grim, the news, but we've made it that way because we like moaning. That's what I'm saying to you. Yeah, the news is entertainment now, absolutely. Years ago, you always ended with a, with a happy story, with a cat in a tree or something. That doesn't happen That's anymore. not a happy story, though, a cat in a tree. Getting it down is the happy story. A cat in a tree is really sad. A cat's in a tree. It's all right. It's fireman. He's got it down for you. He's, he's a big hunk of a fireman. He's taking his shirt off. It was a hot day. He comes down with his helmet on, the muscles, and he gives you a little kitten back. What do you do? How do you, how do you thank him? Just go, thanks, mate. Yeah, go, cheers, for, cheers for that. Yeah. Mm, cheers, mate. Yeah. Well, he's a good-looking fireman. Isn't he? He's a good-looking fireman. He's a hero. He's got his shirt off. He's sweating. He's got your little kitten. Yeah. Be happy. Do you, would you would you pose for a picture with him if he was a fireman, like a little kitten like that? Well, I'd say I'd say. Kiss the kitten. Well, pop pop your top on. <laughs> I don't understand. But the son would love that. Well, not the newspaper. They love all that. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh, but it's a lot of depressing stuff with the credit crunch and that, people losing their jobs. Doesn't affect me though. Doesn't credit affect you though. Probably affecting any of you though. Uh, I've never wasted money though. I, I, I always spend money on stuff that I need. I don't just sort of go, hey, chuck it about. If you need something, you buy it. And even if you if you sort of skint, but you need it, you need it, so you've got to buy it. Don't know what that means. 
Also, if, though, so if you need, to, I only buy things I need. Mm. Yeah. So the credit crunch. Combs, hair dryers, clippers. It always shampoo. comes back to the ad. Always comes back to the ad. Well, it is fascinating. It is people fascinating. People aren't listening. This is the reason we have to do audio. Can we get, people aren't listening. Can we get a square on shot of that head? Because you can't actually see the ears from the front. It should be perfectly round and mm. no ears. Mm. I, don't just yeah, I think she's got it. Do you have a tire of these that winding off about your head? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ages yeah. ago. That's old news. I'm bored of my head being talked about. This is old news. They were late. Mm. Uh, but get back on the Englishness. Well, we haven't given them anything. There's nothing remotely interesting or insightful or educational. What is it to be English? All we've got is it's a stocky fellow with a bald head who whinges. <laughs> 